Tower inspections have always been a challenge. Traditional solutions involving rope access can be slow, expensive, and above all, risky, even with trained technicians involved. Drones are transforming the way these inspections are conducted. By taking off a commercial drone safely from the ground, towers can be inspected a order of magnitude faster, cheaper, and safer. But what are the challenges involved in inspecting a tower? We will explore that in this video. Hey everyone, I'm Varun, the founder and CEO at Hammer Missions, and today, in this video, I'll look at how to inspect a tower using a drone. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to our channel, and if you're watching this on YouTube, click the alert notification. When inspecting a tower, it's important to start with the end goal, and I recommend you think through your inspection workflow starting with the end goal in mind and what you're looking to achieve. Is the goal to create a 3D model of the tower? and inspect it in a digital twin environment? Is it to capture parts of the tower most likely to have defects? Each drone mission has its own purpose and it's important to think through the entire operation with the end goal in mind. For example, if you want to create a 3D model of a tower, we recommend using a drone such as the Phantom 4 due to its global shutter. A global shutter ensures each picture is taken in one swift action, reducing the chances for motion blur which can interfere with the 3D modeling in your chosen photogrammetry software. Once you've got a clear idea of what you're aiming for and the equipment you will need, it's time to plan the operation. Every operation will present its unique challenges, and in this video I will cover the three main challenges you might come across. The first challenge is that you might find structures all over the tower. Towers come in different shapes and form, whether it's a cell tower, water tower, cooling tower, etc and each one presents its unique set of challenges. No matter the structure, it's important to analyze the site around the tower for different obstacles to understand the operating corridor for your drone. Another challenge you will undoubtedly come across is battery change. Battery changes are a critical component to most drone missions. They're especially important to monitor in tower missions. The biggest reason for this is the fact that your drone could run out of battery on the other side of the tower and therefore the battery resume flight path needs to account for the 3D tower on the way between the takeoff location and, and its drone's current position. Lastly, another important component of tower missions is to maintain line of sight with the drone at all times. This can be tricky for water towers, for example, where the structure is opaque and it's hard to see the drone on the other side of the tower. Moving along with the drone can, for instance, help with this problem. Choosing a flight path that covers one side of the tower at a time is another way to solve this challenge. Outside of the operational challenges in tower inspections, it's also important to consider the mission planning challenges that you might encounter with your mission. Each mission needs to be carefully planned to ensure the best possible data. In this part of the video, I will go through some of the mission planning challenges you might come across and how to combat them. You may have experiences in the past. A common issue with tower missions is poor quality 3D outputs. Most of the times, these can be attributed to the presence of horizon or sky in the images. To ensure high quality 3D models, it's important to ensure that the images are devoid of any patches of sky or horizon. This can be done by maintaining a low oblique angle on the drone's gimbal. Hammer Missions, our flight software, allows you to set this as one of the associated parameters in the tower mission plan. Another common challenge is the positioning of the drone. Google Maps is internally consistent but may include discrepancies up to a few meters from the real world. Therefore, planning a mission solely using Google Maps or any global mapping technology is usually not sufficient. We recommend using the drone to mark the tower of interest, mark the flight radius around the tower, and the horizontal distance to the tower. Hammer makes this process super simple by allowing you to fly the drone to the tower, tapping a button and applying the measured distance as a parameter for the mission. And the last mission planning challenge that you might face is whether you should fly the tower width first or height first. Depending on the type of tar tower you're targeting, it might be more efficient to fly the width of the tower first, for example water tower, Alternatively, it might be more efficient to fly the height of the tower first, for example, a cell tower. Therefore, it's important to have a flight plan on hand that can tackle both of these cases. With Hammer, you can simply choose the circles mode for a breadth-first scan or up-and-down mode for a height-first scan. 
I hope this video has given you more insight into how to inspect a tower using a drone. If you'd like to learn more about tower inspection and other missions supported in Hammer, please do visit our mission tutorials. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to share it with the community. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.